I was really lucky as a child that my parents took me to the beach and I joined up to be a nipper as well. And as it is, I've never left. And I've been lucky enough to be the physio for the Australian Surf Lifesaving Team, as well as coach at a number of different surf clubs and at a number of different levels of surf lifesaving. But in doing that, I noticed there were a number of families that had children with special needs that weren't involved in surf lifesaving. And that was simply because there wasn't an avenue for people with special needs to join up at surf clubs. For that reason, we created the Albatross Nippers which is an inclusive nipper program that's helping to re-engage those families with children with special needs back into the community and back into our surf club family. When I created the Albatross Nippers, I had absolutely no idea of the enormous impact it was going to create, not just on families, but on the greater community. At the time when I put the program together, I simply thought I was creating a, a surf life-saving or a nipper program that would allow children with special needs to come back to the beach. But it was able to achieve so much more than that. And while there's been an enormous amount of stories of families that have said to me, since our child was born, we haven't been a beach family or we've not been able to go to the beach because it's just been off limits. Probably the one story that really, um, I guess, le has left a mark is a story of a young girl that she drives an hour and a half each weekend to get to the beach because her condition meant that she couldn't join her local surf club to be a part of Nippers there. And when she does so, she drops in at her cousin's house who are also Nippers. And on this particular morning, they're all standing around in, in their nipper caps and their nipper rashies ready to come to the beach. And she grabbed her cousins and, and held them in sort of an embrace or a deep hug and said, we're all the same. We're finally all the same. And that was a really sort of touching story and, and really opened my eyes to the fact that we're re-engaging people within the community. We're allowing children who, who otherwise haven't been able to do what their peers have been doing or their family have been doing. And, and this young girl comes from a beautiful family and she never would have been treated any differently. But she'd noticed that she wasn't able to do what her cousins were doing and suddenly now she was doing that same activity. In mine and my parents' generation, People who were different were segregated and isolated away from society. So we, we never really learnt the skills on how to interact, engage and include. But my kids and, and youth today, they're, they're the best includers we've ever seen. They, they don't need an app, they don't need a manual. Um, they just do it and it comes so naturally to them. And Nippers is an environment where we have young people and we have old people. And uh, our young are, are teaching us how we can communicate better. You know, my two girls, they don't go to school in kindy with a child with Down syndrome or a child with cerebral palsy, like I did or like my parents did, perhaps. They go to school in kindy with Marcus and Lily. And then in turn, I think we're creating that stronger, engaged community or that village that can better raise everyone's children. <laughs>